let's start with the Brit channel. This is also an analog inspired uh, EQ um, inspired in the Neve uh, equalizer and console. It includes um, here a um, high shelf, right? You don't get to choose the, the frequency that you are affecting, but you uh, nonetheless boost or cut. And if you double click on each uh, button or control or knob, you reset it by default. Then we have this um, frequency range from uh, 36.36 hertz all the way up to 7.2 uh, hertz. This is like the mids and highs, right? 360, 700. I'm sorry, uh, 7K, 1.6. So, yeah, and you turn it off like this, boost or cut, and you have this uh, low, mid, and low band from 35 hertz all the way up to 220 hertz. And finally, you have here this, um, it's a uh, high pass, right? and you high pass at 50 all the way up to 300 hertz to cut some of the lows and you have also a gain knob to add uh, saturation and harmonics and a trim to compensate the output and you have also the mic uh, preamp saturation and yeah if you click on the analog obsession logo it um, adds oversampling to avoid digital distortion especially on high frequencies that are saturated that's the analog obsession logo uh, that you can click on and moving on with the next plugin on this list the breed presser that includes compression and limiting first here this couple of knobs at the top it's the um, limiter section right this is the threshold that you reduce and you have here the recovery or release in milliseconds from 50 milliseconds quick release time all the way up to um, 800 and also you can choose auto release time pretty cool and down here you have the compressor section the threshold of the compressor you have also the recovery or release you have the gain to compensate any volume um, that was lost during the compression and the ratio from 1.5 to 1 all the way up to 6.6 .6 to 1. And you have a mix control to blend the unprocessed and processed signal. And you have here uh, sidechain um, less or more highs also a mid frequency control and a high pass also for the side chain if you like to use that you enable it here with external side chain moving on with the brit pre which is a microphone and line uh, preamp saturation you enable here the mic preamp and you introduce saturation with this red control you have the output to compensate the main output volume you have also a high pass and low pass that you enable by clicking the power uh, button the high pass 45 hertz you choose the frequency they are fixed right like in a real um, console and the low pass you can low pass at 8k 6 4 or 2 and like uh, most of analog obsession plugins you click on the logo to enable over sampling so now let's um, check out this drums that i have here and let's quickly use the bridge channel and the other two let's add some highs
let's remove a bit on the 360 hertz area okay and you can add some lows with a low shelf here for instance at 60 hertz it's a good area for the drums the kick drum mostly We can cut also some uh, with a high pass, make the sound thinner. Before. Let's add saturation, a ton. It's uh, very pleasant though, the, um, the saturation by this analog obsession plugins sounds awesome the saturation on the kick drum All right let's check out the other plugin the brit presser to compress and limit this uh, drums First, add uh, compression with a fast attack time, the faster, I'm sorry, uh, release time, faster recovery or release time, a 4 to 1 ratio. So punchy. Cool, this uh, should work well on bass and vocals as well. And let's move on with the Brit Pre. Very cool, interesting saturation as well and coloration. So let's start to add gain. Full saturation, let's back it up. And this saturation also compresses the drums, right? So it's more even the sound. High pass. Okay. So some of the um, important updates on this Brit uh, bundle was that now you can resize the plugins in the, in the corner of the plugins and also you can use them now in Pro Tools if you are a user of uh, AAX format uh, of plugins and also Apple Silicon has support now for Analog Obsession plugins, so pretty cool. Let's use the Brit Pre on guitars so that you can listen to the cool thing that it adds to uh, rhythm guitars as well. Four. It adds some uh, bit of character, right? Pretty cool.